Okay, I'm going to be showing you guys how to save your EEPROM, uh, how to email it, how to uh, load a new one onto ECM Droid and back onto your bike uh, using ECM Droid with the Buell Bluetooth XBT dongle. Uh, we got ECM Droid pulled up here already, and we're going to go into the EEPROM tab. And there's your EEPROM. Uh, you have the options to fetch, burn, and save. For now, we're going to just save. It'll ask if you want to rename it. And for this, I'm going to just rename it for easier use uh, as demo. Okay. So then go out to the home screen. Um, most Android devices will have some sort of file management. Um, I load the Amazon Fire tablets with ES File Explorer. If your device doesn't have a File Explorer, ES File Explorer is a good, easy, easy one to use. Uh, so we're going to go into there and go into the menu and local and home. And then we're going to go into Android and data. And then org.ecmdroid and files. And these two folders will only populate if you save an EEPROM and if you save a data log. So if you don't have either of them, it's because you haven't saved either of those files. So go into EEPROM. And there's the demo EEPROM that we just saved. We're going to hold on to it for a second. And then some options will come up and we want to go to more and share and then we want to email it and you will most likely be saying this to me which is where I'm going to send it just now just going to title the email demo and send So once I get your EEPROM and make whatever changes are needed, I will send back an email. And I will either save it on uh, my Google Drive and send you a link to the download, or I will send the actual file in the email. Uh, the Amazon Fire tablets don't like the .xpr file format, so that's why I sometimes do the... Uh, Google Drive. So you just click on the link and download. And then it says download complete. And so we'll go back to the home screen now. And we're going to go back to ES File Explorer. And then we're going to go into the menu. And again, local and home. And this time we're going to go into the download folder. And we're going to again hold on to this demo uh, EEPROM. And we're going to, this time we're going to move to. And then we're going to go back to that EEPROM folder, which is in Android, data, all the way at the bottom, org.ecmdroid. Files, EEPROM, and we're going to click OK. Since there is already a demo EEPROM in there, it's asking if you want to rename it. Most likely the EEPROM that I send you won't have the same name that is had when you sent it to me, so you won't have this issue, but if it does, you want to rename. You don't want to overwrite. You always want to keep a copy of your original. And then so we're going to back out, go to local home and Android data org.ecandroid files eprom and there we see we have 
the demo one when it renamed it it just adds the, the one to it so that's the the new EEPROM that um, if this was your device this is the EEPROM that I sent you that you were requesting so we're gonna go to the home screen and we're gonna go back to ECM Droid and of course you're gonna you would want to connect to your bike um, but for this example I'm it's not needed but uh, so you'll connect to your bike go to the EEPROM section and it would show your EEPROM here if you were connected to your bike and now you want to select the EEPROM that I just sent you so you're going to click the little menu button and load and select the EEPROM that you want to load uh, demo one there and then once it's it's loaded you just click the burn button but we are not connected to a bike so it's not going to let me burn but um, once you click the burn button it will ask you if you for sure want to do it and uh, just click yes and that's all there is to it